Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's Papa Bale. Welcome to the channel. Alright, so we got 12.5 volts in. It hasn't been started yet. I gotta spin it to start it. Because it's got a trigger coil. And you gotta you gotta run it past the trigger coil at a certain speed for it to send a signal to the one transistor that's running this whole thing. Alright, so let's go through the drive circuit real quick. We got one 250 turn 16 gauge coil right here as a main drive. Then we got one strand of 24 gauge at 200 turns and each one of these coils as pickup coils. So it goes bang series series transistor. Alright so what we're doing is we're trying to all the rest of this, except for this one, this is trigger coil. Uh, all the rest of the strands of this, so nine strands. You got 324, 426, and two 30 gauge strands all around in a series circuit in each one of these coils and added to a generator uh, side. And then we got uh, 10,500 turns. The 32 gauge with a soft iron core and we got 20 or we got 666 turns of 20 gauge single strand I'm gonna crank it real quick that trigger coil is real sensitive all right look at that they went up so fast They, these are the amps. This is ampage. DC amps. We're already at one amp. And we're at uh, 60 volts. I'm going to go crank the other pulse motor to see if we can get it to spin. I say yeah, but it, like it settles in at a slower rate. I'm gonna run around here, see how much voltage we're generating. This is at the, the DC rectifier diode. Wow, well, it's shaking a lot, but. See, it's only 12.5 and 0.4 amps in. Look at that. It's crazy. It's awesome. Let's check out the frequency. Well, I, I just I'm nervous about that coming off here. Oh, it's got to be uh, Frequency is only between 46 and well, like 70 and 40. Very slow. Wow, those peaks are shallow too.
Now do I have to ground this to actually make it function? Maybe. Because that has slowed down significantly to below the point where I think it's actually working. Alright, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so what I did is I grounded the generator circuit. <clears throat> and so far it hasn't had any effect really. I wish I knew exactly how much energy was being passed through the system every time the magnet passed this coil. If I knew that, then I would know exactly how much energy this had to produce. But I think that might be good right there. I mean, it's, I can't tell whether it's spinning on my power or whether it's... Because it spins so well, I mean, those ceramic bearings are awesome. Do I need a capacitor? I don't know. Hmm, that's interesting. Last time it was up around two amps. Two and a half two point seven amps. Where'd my amps go? Keep on forgetting the change. Oh yeah, we grounded the coil. That's probably what's happening, and this is probably gonna run now. I mean, I hope it does. I mean, if we grounded it by... Attaching it to the emitter of the... Don't know if we need to do that, though. Like, attaching the emitter of this transistor to the beginning of the generator circuit. I get a closed loop. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out, but I think it's working now. So neat. So neat. So neat. And we'll get a quick tech reading and then we're going to call it. That might be slowing down. Just, just saying. And then I could run it with AC. Oh, there it goes. There it is. There it is. All right, we'll run it with AC, and I got some 275 volt capacitors uh, that we could run run it with those. It'd be kind of like using the, the DC diode right here. So that's what it feels like. I mean, this. I don't think this is working. I need to get a a read switch back out here. All right, well, I'll, I don't know. I guess I'll fill you in on the next video because it, it looks like it's stopping now for sure. All right, well, thank you very much. Peace out. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Bye now.